In other news, Chief Justice Martha Kawame has challenged the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission to ensure that the processes leading to the general election is temper-proof to avoid any litigation. Justice Kawame said the commission should draw lessons from the nullified 2017 presidential election and ensure the 2022 is not a repeat of the same. Speaking during a breakfast meeting with editors, the Chief Justice said the Supreme Court will be retreating this week to interrogate its system on how to deal with any election eventualities. As the country heads into the 2022 general elections, Chief Justice Martha Comey is calling on the IEBC to ensure a temper-proof process to limit cases of litigation. Justice Comey says the commission shall factor in the ruling from the nullification of the 2017 general elections to fortify its system to ensure that every Kenyan vote is made to count. We have had a highly improved experience in determination of pre-election disputes as compared with the experience we earned during the previous electoral circle. Drawing parallels from the operations of M-Pesa, where she says has been able to create trust and credibility in the transfer of funds, the Chief Justice says likewise, the IEBC is obliged to create trust on the Kenyan voter, saying it's a painful exercise to nullify an election, more so to aspirants, many who have invested their heavily in the exercise. And where we have failed, we ask God to forgive us, and I believe every Kenyan will also be confessing their sins, including IMBC, where they fought and they will ask for forgiveness and they will look forward to doing their work properly. The Chief Justice has applauded political parties for carrying out a less contested exercise and using their internal mechanisms to sort out issues that arose, saying during the party primaries only 168 petitions were filed and only 29 proceeded to the High Court. Electoral disputes not only create an environment of political mistrust and suspicion, but also seriously undermines the legitimacy of elections and the elected government. As preparations to handle disputes that will arise in the elections, 120 special magistrates and 3,000 police officers have been allocated to enhance security for judges and judicial officers will handle the cases. Prepare to handle EDR matters. We expect that, uh, hopefully, conclude the training of all cadres and of members of the judiciary, judges, magistrates, deputy registrars, researchers, law clerks and staff by the end of July. These electoral offences must of course be resolved within a very within a very short timeline. Did and post election processes and outcomes in a responsible manner. We call on the media to engage in open communication with the Judiciary Committee on Elections and the Department of Public Affairs and Communication to ensure that accurate information is de disseminated to the public from the judiciary. Serafina Roby for Lunchtime News.